What's up travelers? It's a list of means to travel coming to you today from beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, one of the top vacation destinations in the southern United States. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my must do's when you visit Myrtle Beach. So let's just jump right in. My first must do when you visit Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is to definitely go to the beach. And if you're more of a pool person, go to the pool or both. So there's about 60 miles of continuous beach all up and down the South Carolina coast in this area called the Grand Strand. And Myrtle Beach is part of a series of 14 oceanfront communities that go all along the Grand Strand area. So no matter what, with that 60 miles of oceanfront and sandy beaches, you are definitely going to be able to find yourself a little spot to enjoy the ocean. If pools are more your thing, some people in my family definitely prefer pools to beaches, then a lot of the oceanfront resorts and hotels all along the Myrtle Beach area and the beachfront have either indoor, outdoor, or both types of pools to choose from. On top of that, there are tons of family-friendly water parks in the Myrtle Beach area too, so if you're here in the summer months, those are places to check out as well. The second must do when you visit Myrtle Beach is to go shopping. So Myrtle Beach is one of the top shopping destinations in South Carolina, and for a good reason. There is shopping literally, it feels like, everywhere. There are two outlet malls, not just one, but two outlet malls here, other malls as well. And there's also really cool areas such as Broadway at the beach and Barefoot Landing that have boardwalks as well as shops that you can go explore. By the way, if you're liking this video so far, definitely press the thumbs up and the red subscribe button down below. It really helps support my channel as well as free travel content on YouTube and also recommends this video to other Myrtle Beach travelers as well. The third must do when you're visiting Myrtle Beach is to plan out some really fun entertainment, whatever that means to you. There are a lot of family friendly amusement parks that you can go visit all around town. There's also something called the Sky Wheel, which is a little bit like the London Eye in my opinion, where you can get a bunch of people together into a glass room almost and go around on what looks like a large Ferris wheel. And I hear that it's even air conditioned, so it might be fun if you are just needing to escape the heat and still have a good view. Along with the amusement parks and the Sky Wheel, you also can find a free fall right in the center of town that I'm way too scared to do. But for anyone who's more adventurous than me or likes rides more than me, definitely give that one a try too. There's even two Ripley's Believe It or Nots in the downtown Myrtle Beach area, as well as at Broadway at the beach, they have a Ripley's Aquarium that is super cool. Now that I've mentioned Broadway at the beach, another thing to do that you might want to consider for entertainment are theaters. So Broadway at the beach has kind of like a shopping district. It has that aquarium, but it also has a couple of theaters to go explore and get tickets at as well. When we are here right now, they were playing a nightly rock music, you know, like all all those classic rock songs that everybody loves and knows. There was also a magician playing at another theater at the Broadway at the beach, so lots of things to choose from just at that location. Plus there's theaters all over town. There's an Alabama theater, there's also a Carolina Opry that has musical acts every night. So, so many great choices. And if maybe theaters aren't your thing, but you do prefer dinner shows, there's a few dinner shows to choose from too. I think the Medieval Times one, which is where you kind of go and you get to eat a dinner and watch a jousting match a la Medieval Europe. That one I think has been here for a very long time. And also while we're here, there's a dinner show called Pirates. I don't know if it's going to be here when you guys are in town too, but make sure to check that out because usually those can be really fun, funny, and family friendly. The next must do when you're in Myrtle Beach is definitely consider going golfing, whether that's regular golfing or putt-putt. It is when you leave Myrtle Beach Airport, you will see a sign that says, Welcome to Golf Town USA, and that is for a reason. So Myrtle Beach is considered the seaside golf capital of the world and has over a hundred golf courses. When it comes to putt-putt, which is a little bit more my style, <laughs> um, there's some really incredible and well done putt-putt courses all around town. They even have 50 or more putt-putt courses to choose from. Five, zero, that is so cool. So you can go to putt-putt courses, anything from pirate themes, spy themes, um, and Hawaii themes and beyond. So you can choose what kind of putt-putt experience you want, indoor or outdoor, and you'll find what you'd like to do. The next must do when you're at Myrtle Beach is to absolutely be sure to try out the local 
food. So for me, that mostly means getting some really fresh seafood. There's two things I wanna talk about with that. So the first is that you might wanna head down to Merle's Inlet, which is a saltwater marsh area that a lot of boats come in from and drop off fresh catch. And there's tons of restaurants over there that serve up seafood and more. And that would be a really fun thing to go drive to about 20 minutes south of Myrtle Beach and it's some really great seafood. The next seafood thing I wanna talk about is calabash seafood. So when you drive around town, you're going to see a lot of different restaurants talking about calabash seafood. And if you're like me and you're not from around here, you might be wondering, well, what does that mean? So about, a, I don't know, 50 miles or so north of here, uh, not too far, is the border of North Carolina and South Carolina. And basically Calabash is that town just over the border in North Carolina. And that is where some more fresh seafood comes from every single day. So you can basically get anything that you prefer from like an East Coast seafood standpoint, I feel like here. Um, Calabash seafood, Merle's Inlet seafood, or beyond. There's really, really fresh oysters. I actually really like raw oysters, but they do fried oysters too, or steamed actually as well. There's some wonderful catches of the day that you might want to ask for or local fish such as like a flounder on top of that they have incredible crab here so i really like getting crab legs but you can also find even places that serve lobster it might not be local lobster but it's still pr very very fresh so any type of seafood whether it's fish or shellfish you're going to be able to find really fresh and really delicious if you're more into burgers we have seen river city cafe all over town, there's several different locations, and those are supposed to have the best burgers in town, so check that out too. On top of that, definitely be sure to try the sweet tea. Sweet tea is so popular here in the South, and if you order a tea at a restaurant, you are going to get a sweet tea. It defaults to that, not the unsweetened. So if you're kind of like me, and sometimes I really like to have unsweetened teas, um, you definitely need to be sure to specify that, unlike in other places in the US, because by default, you're gonna get a sweet tea here. <laughs> the last must do when you are in Myrtle Beach is to be sure to get outdoors. One of the coolest places to go visit when you're here is Brook Green Gardens. It has beautiful gardens that are just well manicured and smell amazing. They even have a zoo there too. And you should make at least a half day of it and go explore that area and learn about the local flora and fauna. Really close to Brook Green Gardens is one of the top visited state parks here in the Myrtle Beach area. That's Huntington Beach State Park. Some people have even seen alligators there, um, but it definitely has a beach to go check out, a swamp area and so much more and just north of that as well as another state park, Myrtle Beach State Park. So those two are my top recommendations for state parks to visit when you are here. And Myrtle Beach State Park even has a pier. There's tons of different piers all along the coast here. So just walking along the pier, if state parks aren't really your thing, might be a great way to explore the South Carolina shore. All right, I gotta wrap this video up because I'm getting very hot and humid outside. Definitely be sure to pack very light layers if you're gonna be here in the summer months because ooh wee, it is humid. Anyway, so I hope you're gonna enjoy your visit to Myrtle Beach. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful for your travel planning, please, as I said before, give it a thumbs up down below and also press that red subscribe button so that way you don't miss any of the future travel videos about Myrtle Beach, the US and beyond on this channel to come. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers, happy travels, and enjoy your trip to Myrtle Beach. Bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.